Hi there and welcome to this tutorial for fast lane digital audio school done in Montpellier, France, an Ableton certified training centre. Today I'm going to talk about Corpus and we're going to learn how to use this audio effect that comes with the suite only of Ableton Live. You wouldn't have that effect within the standard version of Ableton Live. It's an audio effect that can be loaded as an insert on a track directly or maybe on the return tracks or the master track. And it's a very powerful little tool that will enable you to transform the texture of a sound or maybe just add a layer of a new texture on top of an existing sound. We could call it a resonator. I could call it as a resonator because it's a directly issue. It comes directly from Collision, this modeling, physical modeling synthesizer made by the AAS people. And this synthesizer reproduces the physical properties being used when a an object hits another object. The object that hits the other object is called an excitator and the resonator is the name we give to the one that resonates and so we could say that corpus is the resonator of collision. So with corpus I mean it works pretty well on percussion sounds so I'm going to stick it on a percussion classic congas and I'm going to now add some wet into it and you can start hearing that layer I was talking about. If I go to 100% wet, you can barely hear the original percussion. Now you can decide which type of resonator you're going to be using. Maybe a bim, maybe a marimba, a string, a membrane, a plate, a pipe, and a tube. That's the way they look. Be marimba, string, membrane, plate, pipe and tube. The difference between a pipe and a tube is that the pipe is closed at one end here and you can, you know, vary the uh, opening of that uh, closure, enclosure. Um, so, depending on the uh, type of resonator you use, you may want to adjust the quality of the sound that's being generated. The quality basically means how many harmonics the sound will generate. So with a basic, we have only a few harmonics and as I grow, I add some, you see, harmonics here. Might, might hear it with a, a string works better. You see, we can add more harmonics to the sound. Now this is a trade-off with the actual CPU usage, the more you know, harmonics it generates, the more CPU it's going to be using on your computer. We can decide the length of the resonance with the decay. Shorter, longer, and the material. More metallic, slightly more wooden, depending on the resonator you use. Now, for each of the resonator, we get a set of parameters, maybe the ratio, the brightness, the inharmonics, the position of the mics, the position we hit, where we hit the actual uh, object, and the width of the object. But all of this is pretty easy to understand as an LFO directly rigged up to the tuning. And this is what I want to talk about, the tuning of Corpus. What's really interesting about Corpus is that not only we are changing drastically the texture of the sound, but we can tune it. So if you play this with the bass now, see, I can tune it to the track. here. It's also a filter. You can hear that this is now tuned to the bass. So nothing too complex about this. What is slightly unknown about Corpus is its sidechain input. So if you open this little triangle here, you'll find a sidechain input. And this is a MIDI sidechain, ladies and gents, something we don't see very often. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to place Corpus directly onto the, the bass track. The bass track is a MIDI track with MIDI notes coming from a clip and a synthesizer playing these notes. Now, what I'm going to do is ask Corpus to go and listen to the clip, listen to the MIDI notes being sent to this track. And I'm going to say, you control the pitch of Corpus using these notes. And that's when I engage that little button, frequency button here. Now, you'll find that Corpus now is not a master of his own transposition. It's following the transposition of the clip, the notes within the clip. I'm going to pitch it up. 
And you can hear now clearly Corpus, that's the bass. I'm going to layer it now with the bass. Yeah, so that's extremely powerful. In terms of sound design, it's amazing. So we can go a little further with that. I'm going to bring Corpus back onto the percussions where it was earlier. And now, whilst it's on the percussions, I'm going to ask him to listen to the bass. And you see the percussions are now pitched to the bass. Wicked, isn't it? That's really powerful. We can go one step further. Look, I'm going to add a new MIDI track in Ableton Live. This MIDI track will be left empty, no device on the MIDI track. And instead, I'm simply going to copy the MIDI clip I was using for my percussion. So this is the motif, the percussions we're doing. And we have now the same motif here. So what I'm going to do look, is duplicate that motif. And I'm going to now pitch these notes, maybe to the bass. A G here, yeah, and a B there, wicked. Now I'm going to just simply play these two clips together and I'm going to ask Corpus to listen to the trig. Listen to that. What happens is since the the trig is identical in terms of position of the notes to the actual notes, the actual percussions, then the pitching is a lot more precise I find. It's a lot better because the actual corp what corpus is listening to is exactly the same position as the sound that's actually hitting corpus. And you'll find that this way the pitch is a lot clearer because the pitch information happens exactly at the right time for it to transform the sound. So this opens up a whole world of possibilities in terms of sound design and composition. Your percussions don't sound as blunt as they were before. They sound a little bit more electronic, if I may say. They now also they have a clearer pitch, and the pitch can also be evolving. So, say for example, if you have a lead in your track, you could ask Corpus to just follow the lead all the way through, so that all the, the the percussion sounds would be tuned in accordance to the lead sound of your track. For example, that's you know, there's there's a whole world of possibilities opening up now to us. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little trick about Corpus, and um, I'll see you again soon on another tutorial for Fast Lane. Bye.